Our expanding universe. Three surprises. Apart from the odd comet and a very occasional supernova, the heavens don't seem to change much. This was the general observation of humans throughout history, and even at the start of the 20th century, it was still assumed that the universe is essentially static. But, in 1916, when Vesto Slipher carefully measured the wavelengths of light coming from galaxies, he found something surprising. They were nearly all redshifted. When atoms are heated to high temperatures, they emit light at specific wavelengths. So each element has a signature colour. But if the atoms are moving away from you, the light waves get stretched. For visible light, this means they move towards the red end of the spectrum. So we say they are red shifted. But the shift applies for all wavelengths, whether they are visible or not. Slipher's big surprise was that it didn't matter which direction he looked, pretty much every galaxy, in every direction, was moving away. But then it got stranger. In 1929, Edwin Hubble compared the redshift with how far away the galaxies were. He used the absolute brightness of a particular type of star to calculate the distances, a method discovered 20 years earlier by Henrietta Swan-Levitt. This brought surprise number two. The further away a galaxy was, the more redshifted it was, meaning the faster it was moving. You might think that this confirms what the ancient philosophers thought, that we're at the centre of the universe. But Einstein already had an alternative way of interpreting the observations, with his general theory of relativity. It included an idea that seems pretty strange to most of us. So let's call it surprise number three. The galaxies aren't moving away from us through space at all, but space itself, in the vast gaps between the galaxies, is expanding, getting bigger and bigger. So it doesn't matter which galaxy you're in, look out in any direction and all the other galaxies will be moving away from you. This is our expanding universe.